500 cash back, plus 0% financing. What makes a Subaru a Subaru? Subaru Outback, a part of the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive lineup in America. All right, we welcome to the show ACE investor Deborah Breed. She's one of Barron's top financial advisors three years in a row, president of DK Breed Investment Management. Now, CNBC contributor Peter Schiff. We also have Jerry Boyer. And we have Kevin Kerr, ace commodity analyst. I'm truncating everybody. The world knows who you guys are. You're all so famous. Kevin Kerr, let me begin with you. First of all, it's great to see you. Happy New Year. Good to see you, Larry. Biggest winners today, Kevin. Very interesting. The whole energy sector was up, and gold. Gold was up really big. We may have some charts if we can get them up on the full screen. I want to ask you the meaning of this gold rally. I know it's got Peter Schiff uh, salivating, but I want to get to know what, what your take is on gold and energy. Yeah, an absolute strong day, Larry. $40 move. It's significant. You know, you look at this chart and you kind of match it up with the violent events we had. You know, Bear Stearns tumble. We saw a gold spike. Uh, we're seeing gold spike now on, on concerns that we are going to have a banking collapse in Europe. We've got our banking problems here. And, you know, all that love affair with the dollar uh, is, seems to be waning a bit. A lot of the people that I talk to are saying, you know, maybe we better get out of this and move into gold right now. Um, I'm hearing that from a lot of people, and I think you're seeing that drive the price up. We're, we're back through 200-day moving average, so there's some technicals here as well. Uh, but we are seeing more interest pour into the, the metals. Well, I, it's I kind think of a bullish chart, the gold chart, when it, you look it at it. And, and energy, <laughs> kind of. I don't know if we put the crude oil chart up there. Let's get up there if we can. Uh, all right, that's gold. We, didn't we just do the gold chart? Let's put the oil chart up. There you go. Now, at the bottom of that chart in the lower right, it could be a bottom or not. It's a close call, Kevin. You think energy, oil, uh, oil's bottoming? You know, when I look at this chart, what we're seeing here is we're seeing traders look at the options, look at the, the market. How much downside is there to this market? Sustained downside. I mean, what are we talking about? $20 oil sustained for six months. There's not a lot of interest in the options market in this. I think you are seeing some basing here. I mean, look, there's a lot of supply right now. We have refineries slowing down. We don't have the demand picking up yet. We have to see the global engine start firing again before we're going to get significant increases. But I think our nominal price is more around 55 60 And I think you've probably seen the bottom. Deborah, let me come to you. Welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you. you for coming on. It, there's, a, there's sort of a conundrum here. The, the credit fear markets are doing great. All these LIBOR and swap spreads mm -hmm. are way, way, way down. That's got to be a big positive. And yet the stock market, well, it's still above the November 20 lows, but it sure has been slumping in the last couple weeks. We have a chart up. The two-year swap spread is the blue. Now, that's inverted to show you the relationship with stocks. But the rise in that blue line is really the collapse of, this, of the swap spread mm -hmm. back to normalcy. You look at the S&P spread against that. Deborah, there's a huge stock market rally out there someplace, according to this chart. I want to know if you agree. I agree. You do? I do. I think that's just a lot of fear that's keeping the market where it is right now. Whoa! You buying? Yes, I sure am. I actually bought General Electric today in my own account. Wow! I thought 10 what else do you buy? This is great stuff. Oh, Before we yeah. get to Peter Schiff, this is great stuff. <laughs> Look at Peter's smile. He can't stand it. Go ahead, Deborah. <laughs> Tell Peter Schiff what you're buying. You can give some good advice. Well, I mentioned today I bought for myself General Electric. I saw a 10 percent dividend yield, and I thought even if they cut the dividend, and I know that they're looking to hold the dividend, but if they cut it, that's a great yield. And I'm looking at stocks that because the market's down a good 43 percent from its highs, we have opportunities to buy stocks that are yielding, you know, 3 percent with great companies, whether it's Microsoft at 3 percent or Procter Gamble at 2.8 or Coca-Cola at 3.6. I think these are great yields. And I think if you compare it to like the five or 10 year treasury, I think it's like buying a yield and yet getting the growth thrown in for free. And, I, and, I feel these companies will come back. No growth. Right. That's, that's fascinating. Peter Schiff, let me take that to you. I want you to respond to Deborah Breed. I just want to add, Besides the mustard seed of a, of a lower fear factor in the credit markets, you got your $350 billion savings from retail gasoline plunge. You got your pro-corporate profits plunge in the world oil price. And you got a pretty good expansion of the money supply. To me, I know the stimulus package is a pile of junk, but this other stuff could spell a huge stock market rally, Peter. Look, well... More money is not a positive. That's just more inflation. The low oil prices aren't going to stay low. We're talking now about oil possibly bottoming. I think when oil does bottom, it's going to skyrocket. I mean, it's just going to go up as fast as it came down. But, you know, we're talking about gold. 
Look at what's going on with gold and stocks. The Dow is now worth just nine ounces of gold. This is a new low for the bear market that began in 2000 when the Dow was at 43 ounces of gold. Stocks are still overvalued versus gold. I think the Dow is going to crack seven ounces of gold this year, five hmm. ounces of gold next year, Which would and mean, then keep falling. How would that translate into the level of the Dow, if you are correct? Well, you don't know. If, well, let's say if the Dow is at 10000 and gold is $2,000 an ounce, then the Dow is worth five ounces of gold. The point is that as the Dow loses value priced in gold, the real value of U.S. stocks is falling. It doesn't matter about the nominal value because nominal prices are going to be going up for everything. We're printing a lot of money to fund these stimulus packages. And because the stimulus package are not going to stimulate anything, the economy is going to get worse because of the stimulus package. They're going to keep upping the dosage. We're going to get more and more stimulus, and so we're going to have massive inflation. All right, Jerry Borer, you, you heard Peter Schiff's cheerfulness. Now, <laughs> I want to, on these sides, just by the way, Peter wrote an excellent, provocative article in the Wall Street Journal today, worried about our deficits and the fact that nobody around the world's going to buy them. So, yeah. Jerry, it's left to you. You're hitting cleanup tonight. Well, I agree that the deficits are going to get, a, get to be a problem and that we might have problems getting other nations to buy them. But let me just go to the core of his point, which is, more money, in fact, does help when you're in a deflationary cycle, and we're clearly right. in a deflationary cycle. Now, I understand what money's just paper. It's just paper. Yes, there's no real right. assets there. There's no real and, wealth. They just crank when it off there's the a printing press. And when there's a shortage of paper, more paper <laughs> is valuable. The mm -hmm. danger is no, that the Fed overshoots and that we get <laughs> inflation, which might well happen. No. But right now, what what gives we, paper Peter, value Peter, is Peter, the right now, what we have is deflation, and the solution to deflation right. is to get no. money moving. <laughs> Deborah, you're saying no. that's right. You that's agree? Right. Go I, ahead. It, we are. Let's face it. Like, like you talked about oil prices, we look at uh, oil was 70 percent higher. Um, and a lot of the prices of oil back when it was at 104 in the 140s was because of speculation. It wasn't because of the usage that was happening. So I don't think oil is going to shoot up tomorrow. And I don't think that every company in America is going to go out of business tomorrow. I think we well, need to have some basic supplies. So I think it's kind of silly to uh, sit there and put everything into gold or whatever. Not that well, you're going to put everything into gold, but I think it's you yeah. got to look at the fact that there's a great well, deal of opportunity. It's a lot right better here. than putting everything in stocks. Plus, yes, every company isn't going out of business because the government is bailing them all out. Well, they're not but bailing out Procter and Gamble, Johnson, Johnson and Johnson and Coke. They're not bailing out Coca-Cola, well, Johnson and Johnson. Well, I haven't seen any money them going in for the TARP program. No, but they're bailing out the financials. If well, that's for different. The government, GE would probably well, then don't be buy the it. financials. Right. They don't buy the financials, exactly. but there's a whole lot of other companies out there that, that are right. not financials. What about buying? <laughs> this is sort of fun. Well, let me ask first That's of all, right. Ke Kevin Kirk, quickly. Kevin, would you invest in a, in a reflation play, or do you think that's premature? In no, other words, I, I am invested in the reflation tell us play. Some more I think about it's huge. The I, I, I believe that we have seen the bottom for oil. I think that you're going to see some fluctuation here, but we do have a lot of supply. But again, you know, going back to the comment about oil prices just being pumped up on speculation, you know, we did have real worldwide demand. We still do. Well, the same problems that existed before exist now. We've seen the pendulum swing all the way this way to 146, which we all admitted was nuts. Now down back to $30, which is just as equally insane. And so somewhere in the middle is the mm -hmm. equilibrium. And I think we're going to trend I back agree. towards that, that on demand alone. Peter, what I got to ask you something. This is tailor made for you, our last moments. There's a new index fund. It's called the NASDAQ OMX Global Relief Fund. The fund is trading, okay? Hmm. It's down about 40% in the last, and it's opening two weeks. I think they're going to start options. Melissa Lee said they're going to start options trading uh, against the fund. It is the TARP companies, Peter, your favorite and mine, the TARP companies, <laughs> all the banks, roughly 25 banks. Would you buy this fund, Peter Schiff, the TARP companies? Well, I mean, I mean, if I'd short it, maybe. I mean, on a rally, <laughs> I wouldn't want to buy it. Remember, remember, the TARP companies, all these are companies where the government is stealing all the equity from the that's common right. shareholders and putting it in a preferred share. So if you're buying common stock in any company that's getting TARP money, that's you're right. buying nothing. Th th that that va value has evaporated. Now, the government is overpaying, certainly, for their shares, but the fact of the matter is whatever value is remaining in these banks is going to be owned by the government at the end of the day, and the shareholders are going to get nothing. All right. Uh, let me get a quick whip around. Deborah, um, is the stimulus package so-called good or bad for the stock market? Uh, the one that's out there right now is bad. All right, Jerry Boyer. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad. Peter Schiff, you already told us your views.
Kevin Kerr, good bad or bad? For the market. It's awful. It's more good money after bad, Larry. But let me tell you, is it inflationary, as as, uh, as Peter Schiff says, uh, because that would help your commodity story, Kevin. I absolutely agree it's with Peter. You know, you look be. at gold last year, it was up 5.5%. The S&P 500 was down 38%. It's right. inflationary, Deborah and that Breed, means higher gold price. Jerry Boyer, Peter Schiff, Kevin Kerr, Friday night, you're all wonderful. The NBC you. Reports continues right after the break. Get ready to buckle up.